The following program contains adult content and language. The material contained may be offensive to some people. Content may potentially be appealing to all ages. It is intended for older audiences. It may not be suitable for anyone under the age of 17. Listener discretion is advised. The things that come out of my mouth do not represent the views and or opinions of any entities whatsoever to which I have been, am, or will be affiliated with. I am capable of thinking on my own, and we encourage you to do the same. If you are offended by anything I say, feel free to think it through and let it go! Please have your tickets in hand and gather all your belongings. You are now boarding the crazy train. <laughs> this is in your face. I'm your hostess with the mostest, Dix's very own little darling. The female mouth of the south, Rebel Medler. Thanks for boarding the train at the stations you are tuned into. Go ahead and find your seats. We are starting this interactive ride. You can interact with me by contacting us on social media platforms. If you are listening live, feel free to contact me so you can voice your opinion, speak your mind, put information out there, or just call in to talk. I like to shoot the shit and I welcome controversy. Bring it! If you get the stones, that is. God, goddess, family, friends, and everyone listening, please forgive me for anything and everything that's about to come out of my mouth. I say this before the show because I know me and quite frankly, I can be a bitch. Don't fuck with me, fellas! This ain't my first time at the rodeo. First time at the rodeo? What? Show it hell ain't, baby! Oh, I speak my mind and what I say is of my own opinion. (laughs) Always, okay? Always my opinion. If you are shocked by anything I say, then you obviously haven't been paying attention to who the hell I am. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. All right, so let's see where the ride takes us today. Today's program is brought to you by Country Corners Gazette and uh, uh, oh, no, 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 drop that page because they don't want to go there yet. But they know who they are, and you will soon. Oh, yes, indeed. Yeah, I know. I turn away from the mic at that point at all the time. Y'all should know me by now. And no, we're not multitasking. All right. (coughs) The last thing we need to do is lose the voice, right? All right. So, all right. We're going to start with our in the headline segment. (laughs) What the fuck? Yes, you've probably heard. If not... You may just be a potato head. What? That's right. I didn't say Mr. or Mrs. or Miss or any other. I guess nothing's getting sex anymore. (laughs) Oh, depending on how long it's been since you've had sex will depend on how funny that was. (laughs) Anyway, no, it really ain't funny. It really ain't funny like that seriously it's not funny at all it's sad oh these days are just so fucked up i really don't know what to even say about this this just in oh that means it's (laughs) it's our breaking news segment okay so hasbro reversed its decision mr and mrs potato head aren't going anywhere what finally a company that didn't cave into those who have their britches in a bunch way to go hasbro (laughs) good thing the potato head parts are you know easily change up and everything you know you just push it in and pull it out oh that's right (laughs) oh man they just hand this shit to me i swear to god you you know why we need some ac in this bitch god it's hot (laughs) oh Um, who? yeah, it could definitely get you a little bit crazy. Um, and here, oh no, now it's gonna get loud in here. We can't adjust it any other way. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Let's do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. And for those who ain't, sorry, 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 sorry. 
All right. So anyway, back to the potato head. Now that I think about it, um, they're not anatomically correct anyway, are they? <laughs> what the hell? Why did they make such a big deal about Mr. or Mrs.? I mean, seriously, you buy both boxes and you can have either one. <laughs> Oh, oh, what are your thoughts about this, people? Let me know. Feel free to voice your opinions. I did offer you to do that in the beginning of the show. I can't believe that they're making such a big deal about things. Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. Fuck, just don't put the right parts on. Again, they're not anatomically correct. Oh, just saying. Oh, it gets hot in here. Ooh, steamy. I'm just joking. Okay, stop it. Oh, speaking of, I better watch what I say nowadays. No, I'm not going to watch what I say. I am me, and that's what I'm going to do. But apparently, we got to say goodbye to Pepe. Pepe Le Pew is going bye bye. What? Oh, why? Why, why, why? Well, according to this article that. I was given to read and I haven't read it yet so we're going to put it right here and we're going to read it to you. You won't be seeing much of the Looney Tunes skunk Pepe Le Pew in future productions according to multiple reports. Over the weekend a New York Times opinion piece called out the cartoon character saying his actions normalize rape culture. What the fuck all right i gotta add please raise your hands ladies and gentlemen boys and girls and everyone listening that you may or may not be supposed to be listening at any point in time when you were watching the looney tunes and peppy Le Pew came out and he was you know expressing his feelings towards the cat fyi peppy Le Pew's a skunk did anybody think it was normalizing rape culture first of all what the fuck is rape culture okay are you kidding me Wow, you people got your your britches so tight in a fucking bunch. I bet you I could put a piece of coal up there and get me some motherfucking diamonds. Oh, yeah. Wow. Okay. This is crazy, people. What's wrong with you guys? I know. I hope I offend every fucking body. I'm trying not to leave anybody out here. Okay. Pepe. Pepe was so cute and so romantic. Okay. I look at it now and uh, no, I don't see that he's rape culture i mean really people what the the hell normalizing rape culture please feel free to tell me what the hell is rape culture now yes there are some lifestyles and let's cross over a little bit from in your face to rebels romperum (coughs) hey baby anyway so seriously now there are some lifestyles that like fetishes and kinks and everything else and that could be a form of fetish kink or whatever but it's consensual okay this is not there's no culture i mean jack the ripper is not a culture okay come on now people what the hell i don't i don't pepe Le Pew is a bad he's influencing rape no he wasn't it's a cartoon people you know they're just gonna leave us with blank slates of gray oh no they can't do that because then they can't enforce the um you know the hatred between the races and control people like that are you kidding me this is out of hand this is out of hand if you don't want to watch the little skunk go after the little kitty cat then don't oh skunk kitty cat oh lordy baby where are we at now oh no seriously seriously why y'all reading shit into things y'all take more time oh y'all slip into a rebel rant y'all take more time to read into shit that ain't there okay maybe it's there in your head but are you kidding me what the fuck people if you don't like it don't watch it if you don't want to hear it don't listen but stop the shit really this is crazy this is cartoons if you have to sit there and figure out this is what you see going on in a cartoon you got problems go see yourself a therapist honey because that's not right Uh uh-uh no okay seriously you gotta get off of this all right i don't know what y'all people on maybe here's the solution we'll just legalize weed across the nation and maybe everybody get a little high and then maybe they'll ease up and won't have their heads so far up their own asses that it gets so stupid okay for real people it's a cartoon it's not even an adult cartoon it's a kid's cartoon okay what would you think if you saw one of those 
animes or hey what do they call adult cartoons not anime but you know the really dirty ones help here what do they call the um adult cartoons the anime that's like definitely adult who hentai thank you all right it ain't hentai it's a goddamn cartoon all right for real though all your lives you have seen if you was a privileged motherfucker and had a goddamn TV, all your life you have seen Elmer, was it Elmer Fudd? Elmer Fudd carrying a gun. He never shot the damn rabbit, two-sided motherfucker. He never got him. Okay? Bugs never died. But the gun was there. Did it encourage you to go out and try to shoot a rabbit? <laughs> really? No, it didn't. Okay? Nothing. Watching uh, Lady and the Tramp at the... Uh, the restaurant the italian restaurant eating the spaghetti and when their lips met when they were eating the same noodle that just totally got you worked up as a child didn't it no fuck no it didn't okay you're getting yourself worked up on shit hell if you can't appreciate cartoons stop fucking watching them okay you want a goddamn adult if you got to make sure that you analyze and everything figure something else out to do god damn it what the hell Really, what in the bloody hell is wrong with you people? I don't understand you. I don't even want to try to understand you sick bastards. Okay, seriously. What do y'all think about those ink blot tests? What are you seeing in that, I have to ask? Seriously, people. No. All right. Pepe Le Pew is a French skunk that was often out looking for love. He wasn't looking to rape somebody. He wasn't looking to get him some. He was just having affections for the damn cat, okay? Seriously. Um, the, okay, now I have to say, they do say that the, his affections were unwanted and aggressive. No, okay? He was trying to express his feelings. The cat didn't want none because the cat just didn't want none. I guess she was on a rag. I don't know, but fuck, okay? I didn't analyze the goddamn cartoon. Apparently, other people did. All right, the cat just didn't want him. He wasn't her type. He was a skunk, okay? So why don't y'all jump on a bandwagon and and go something with that? Like, he was, oh, I don't know. He was French and she was American. And let's start start a fucking um, rumor or some crap with that, right? Let's stop the shit. Really, people, this is ridiculous, okay? They um, opted to write him out of the uh new apparently they're doing a new um da, 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 what is that show michael jordan did but now they're gonna do um now they're gonna do a lebron james version oh space jam sequel there it is they wrote pepe out now personally i think we ought to strike and riot and freaking pick it and all of it no 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 i know look i'm inciting the riot i am not okay i'm just being fucking stupid just like the rest of these people who want to edit the freaking people the really okay really no just stop it if you need to be like this in life go find another life to be in for crying out loud all right i'm not trying to be rude of my my uh, chat people let's go back we're gonna read because i have said a lot okay so we're gonna go back nope they want now mr and mrs potato head to be mr and mrs potato because this is a new normal no see that's the problem okay i don't care what you decide to identify yourself as you can be a Apache helicopter for all i give a damn but that's your business it's not my business okay if you want to be a if you're a human and you want to be a Apache helicopter or you want to be a canoe or uh whatever you choose to identify as that's your business that doesn't stop the fact people really really please Mr. Potato Head and Mrs. Potato Head were never, and unless they had an adult, adult version, were never anatomically correct. So, therefore, you won't even know unless you put on the special ones that would most of the time identify as male or female that they were even a male or a female. Fuck, they could have been cross dressers for a lot, gave a damn. It was a fun game to play. All right, I just don't understand. Um, yeah, the new normal. There is no normal. Fuck, I don't want to fit in a normal category. I find it offensive if someone calls me normal. 
what the fuck is that? Normal. There ain't no normal. Just like there ain't no perfect. <clears throat> there is no such a thing. Normal to one person is not normal to others. All right. There is no normal. Get y'all's heads out your asses and realize there is no how you live your life is how you live your life. The reason here being is you don't let anybody tell you how to live your life. All right. It really needs to stop. We have crossed too many lines here, people. Too many lines in the sand. And we have many of many of things we could talk about, but I'm not going to go into that. We're going to settle that rant down a little bit. Maybe possibly a little bit. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> All right. So uh i'm reading from the chat room thank you irish i'm not against gay no i am not against any i am free to believe that anybody can be whatever they want if you want to be the apache helicopter i'm entirely saying that apache uh if you want to be that apache helicopter you could be what you want to be i don't care because what you do is your business and don't let anybody stop you as long as you're not hurting other people the problem is everybody that don't like what other people are doing is trying to hurt everybody else all right you need to stop if you're getting your panties in a bunch about something walk the fuck away from it pull grab it take a good grab at that and pull them out your ass please okay seriously let people do what they need to do if they ain't hurting you or the earth or society or whatever let it go who made you god and decided you had the right to say everybody else is wrong for what they're not doing what you're doing let it go because you're not going to like it when it turns on you just saying and that's what it's going to come to all right back to reading i'm not against gay culture but when we try to impose it as normality another that's another story uh transsexuality and all that shit goes too far everybody got to do what they got to do again what you're doing is your business you ain't got to push it on nobody and nobody needs to conform to what you're doing pissed off by oh ha let's go there um by those letters you know those those letters that some 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 people see it's okay to say am i gonna go there i'm gonna go there we're never gonna get to the show today okay anyway so um uh those letters those you know whatever they choose to stand for it's racist but see i won't say it because there's other letters that people don't say see like why is it okay to say i'm gonna go there i'm going i'm going there why is it okay to say blm but you can't say kkk just saying all right see i told you it was gonna piss somebody off racism is everywhere homophobia is everywhere we can't say anything anymore without being treated as a homophobe a racist um islamophobe or anything else okay please people fuck off it's just we need to stop okay stop stop trying to make other people what you want them to be because it ain't that way it just ain't go on and do your own thing just do your own thing uh let's see going back to the chat room it's funny it's always the same who who complain it is you know it is it's it is noticeable pepe le pew French people never complained because he was with the French accent. I know. That's true. You see? (laughs) It's funny. You know, they... I did mention the um, Italian restaurant in Lady and the Tramp. Italian people didn't complain, did they? I don't understand if French people don't complain that he's got a French accent. He is just so adorable. (laughs) All right? I don't know. I personally don't know if I would want him pawing on me as much as he did, but sometimes people like the affection okay i don't have a problem i do not ha- i don't have a problem with tasmania either okay the tasmanian devil is cool i think he'd be a little rough in bed though but hey <laughs> you know whatever it takes but did you ever actually sit there and think i just want to do kermit the frog or mr snuffleupagus yes, seriously no children don't think that way why are adults thinking about children's cartoons if you can't appreciate them for what they are cartoons if you're gonna sit there and evaluate them and make them i don't know in your own sick image stop watching them it's just not okay they want to destroy the what is um i don't know what that word is oh sedental culture 
What is that? Help me out, Irish. What is O-C-C-I-D-E-N-T-A-L culture? I don't know what that culture is. And I don't want to look it up. Tell me. You said it. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. No, seriously, though. People, um, the, the world is out of hand. This is crazy. Crazy. Okay. And apparently there are no current plans for the controversial cartoon skunk to return. Because someone got their panties in a bunch. Damn, people. What the fuck? If everybody got shut off because somebody didn't like them, we'd have nothing. Just imagine seeing white culture. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Oh my goodness, I said white culture. Where's white history month? Oh, yeah, about that. Where's the white man month? You know, say we, we're doing this. What is it? Women's month? Can't hear y'all. Is it women's national month or was that just a day? A whole month? Okay, so apparently, I don't know why we need a fucking month. We're here every goddamn time. It's like saying Valentine's Day. You only love somebody on Valentine's Day? No! Okay, this, why we have all of this shit? But seriously, they got Black History Month. Why don't they have White History Month? Oh, because somebody's going to say because we got White History Month all year fucking around. Guess what, people? History is history. And it should be recognized all through life. The problem here is history keeps repeating itself because that a motherfucker learns from it. Okay, seriously, we got problems. We really do. I I just don't I don't understand you know this wow we're halfway through the fucking show and we have not gotten through anything but that's our <laughs> rebels rants for today I don't know it might come back up again <laughs> all right now let's get on to today's show which we're never gonna get through today hopefully it's a short show I don't know it's it's a long show because it's it's this regular time let me be specific because I don't want to confuse anybody it's regular timing we're here for the duration I just knocked my microphone all over the place and the boom went poof okay anyway so ah deep breath <sighs> okay no i'm sorry it's not that deep really <laughs> again slipping into rebels romper room you never know all right so seriously let's get on to today's show and today is fit this in <laughs> fit this in we were talking about mr potato head parts fitting no stop okay quit (laughs) see how fun we can make this okay we don't have to uh let me trying to stop this uh subtitles on films next i know right it will be racist for trying to translate the language uh i know right we're they're just gonna make us sit around in just dismal gray and not look at anything or hear anything or anything. We're just gonna be blobs that do nothing but sit there and see gray. They're gonna me- they're gonna find a way to erase all everything, all the nature, all the color, all of everything. We're just gonna be little blobs that merely exist until someone decides to smush us out because that's what it's coming to. It's terrible. It's terrible. Learn to be a human being or, or I'm sorry, Apache helicopters, please don't get upset. Uh, it's not a breathe. <laughs> it was not a breathe that. Oh yeah, I know, right? Seriously. <sighs> what can we do? What can we do other than just try to get past the stupid all right there's so much stupid it's running rampant and it's it's just out there all right it's just crazy so let's move to fit this in this is the actual (laughs) the actual title of today's show fit this in all right and we're not talking about fitting the parts in (laughs) Let's see. We're not actually what they what did they do me here? Oh, y'all are wrong for that. Oh, we're never gonna finish today's show. We're gonna just do it. Okay. I don't know what segment <laughs> they didn't put the show segments in there for me. They just gave me prompts to read. So here we go. We're gonna read the prompter. And it says, I feel the need to explain something to the generation that does not remember or never saw. A world where one person with a high school education could support a family of five comfortably. This was real. For millions of U.S. families, it was normal. It was stolen from you. And it was not one person left for work at 4 a.m., worked two jobs, returned home after eight entirely exhausted. No! 
It was one person went to work at 8 or 9, came home at 5 or 6, ate food, paid bills, watched TV, celebrated birthdays and party with parties and so on. All right, let's think, let's really think about this. I know it's not really a myth. It did exist. It did exist in if you're over the age of 17, you'll understand this. In our lifetime, people really truly did. They went to work and they all right, they probably had to leave depending on how far you lived from your job, which most people lived nearby their job back then. But people left for work. They either had to clock in or be at work at 8 or 9 o'clock. They were home by 5 or 6. What? No. Yeah. Yeah. This is so true. I promise you, I shit you not, you're my favorite turd. Okay? Really. I, I tell you, people, once upon a time... It's a, it, one, this is going to turn into a once upon a time. Exactly. Once upon a time, parents actually got up and got children ready for work. This is if you have a family. If not, it's a little bit different. Adjust it to your situation. Anyway, so seriously, um, people got up. They went to work for eight or nine o'clock. They were back home. They were getting off of work at a decent time. They were home for five or six. They ate dinner. Not at, oh, I don't know, 11 fucking 30 at night. They, they, um... They had dinner at a decent time. They paid their bills. They watched their TV. They celebrated life. They had a life. What? Once upon a time. It's sad that we have to put once upon a time. That was the normal. What happened? Why are people having to get up and work several freaking jobs to make ends meet these days? Why? What the fuck happened? You don't know either? I don't know. I think we have to go back and look into the late 80s, early 90s, possibly the beginning of 2000s. What the fuck changed? You ever go back and look at people, not only the ones on TV, but in print ads or anything else? Everybody was smaller then. What are they putting in the food, in the air, in the water? What are they doing to us? And yes, it is so true. They, they are doing it to us. All right, let's see what's next. If you left while I was getting my life together, I won't need you again. That's so true. Okie dokie. Wow, this all kind of fits together. And the first part was just me and, you know, shit that I came up with. These are prompters. Okay, the prompter says, if you left while I was getting my life together, I won't need you again. All right. If you have friends, family, or whatever, lovers, whatever, If they can't stick around while you're getting your shit together, toss them out with the trash, let them go because it just ain't happening. All right. It's not going to happen. You don't need them. Toss them out. If they're there, they stick through thick and thin, better or worse, all that crap, then they're worth sticking around. That that goes back to our uh, building our tribe and our inner circles, our circles, the people who are in our circles that's something we need to know oh this is going to be fun um stuff we need to think about we need to keep the right people in our lives and let them go if they don't belong absolutely all right so our next thing is 50 words that sound dirty but actually aren't we are not doing all 50 because we ain't got the time all right but we'll start this i know we got to get back to that other one because i never did finish that one but it's all good all good indeed all right so 50 words that sound dirty but actually aren't oh can we play with google translate oh yes dear you certainly can let's go to translate i know we're gonna play i know how to say these words i do but it's so cute when google says them for me i love google translate okay so our first word of the day boys and girls is a hole hole E it o l e it o l e A hole hole A hole hole Ooh what Ah uh, Oh man if you read that as a hole <laughs> Then think again A hole a hole a hole A hole hole is the name of a species a species of Hawaiian flag tail fish native to the Central Pacific. Oh, look at there. 
<laughs> oh yes, this is going. This is going to turn into like a little lesson. Eh, hole, hole. I don't know how to say it. I've never been to Hawaii. I can't eat the food. Ah, so it's all good. I, I could try a little bit, maybe some. Just keep the stuff out of it. Paste it, damn it! All right, our next one is A K T A S H I T E. I didn't want you to fucking spell it. I want you to say it. Say it, damn it! Why are you blocking? Oh, they're blocking it. They don't want it to say it. A K T A S H I T E. What? A K T A S H I T E. No. Oh, now see, they didn't fuck my Google Translate up. Oh, what the hell? I don't know. English, English, bitch, English. A K T A S H I T E. Oh, you just wrong for that. Then they done fucked up my goddamn Google Translate. How can I play with it if I don't know how to, you know, see, I was going to go say something sexual with that, but I'm not going to go there. We're just not, we're just not going to take it there. Now you're going to freaking say it for me, damn it. A-K-T-A- Stop spelling it. I don't want you to spell it. A-K-T-A-S-H-I-T-E. Apparently that's a word that you can't say. Ah. <laughs> All right. It's a rare mineral used commercially as an ore of arsenic, copper, arsenic, arsenic. Yeah, arsenic. That's not what I think of when I say arsenic. Anyway, stop. Uh, or mercury and mercury. Yeah, okay. It takes its name from a village in Actask. Actask. Atash. I can't say that word. I really don't even know what it is. It's in, it's from Eastern Russian. Russian. There we go. Let's make it say it in Russian. Ha ha. Maybe they'll say the word. Ha ha. Say it for me, bitch. Aktashite. Aktashite. There you go. Maybe there's just no English translation. Aktashite. <laughs> it sounds so nice in Russian. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's uh, mineralogy. Mineral. A logical, mineral logical. Boy, we are learning some shit today. Uh, <laughs> this one ought to go over really well. All right, well, we can't make it say it in Russian because it's not a Russian word. I don't know what it is. Paste it. A S S A P A N I C K. If you if you do not work properly, I'm going to just boot you. You will be booted off the show. You horrible, horrible thing. A-S-S-A-P-A-N-I-C-K. All right. For some reason, our Google Translate doesn't want to play nice today because it's being stupid. A-S-S-A-P-A-N-I-C-K. Anybody know how to make it not spell the fucking word and just say the fucking word? Because it's going to give me a heart attack. A sapanik. A sapanik. All right, see. A S S A P A N I C K. Hi. A S S A P A N I C K. A S S A P A N I. A sapunik. Uh huh. A sapunik. All right, we're not going to do this anymore because Google Translate is pissing me off today. But we'll get back to that. We'll come back another day and do the. <laughs> it's funny. It's just the way they spelt and everything. It's fifty words that sound dirty, but actually aren't oh man oh man oh man oh man okay so we're never gonna finish this shit oh stop telling yourself you're never gonna do it oh what we got to all right so this one i know comes from the cauldron what is it the cauldron segment i don't know you people left me hanging now see what happened here was i complained that they didn't put the uh i i complained that they put too many show segments in there and now they put none. Being bitches, that's just wrong. Just saying. Oh, where is it? The cauldron segment. There we go. The cauldron segment of the show. This one is where it comes from. Scroll down. Uh, no, teleprompter, you went too far. Thank you. All right. A simple prosperity spell. Ooh, something we should use right now. But don't use it. I think um, you need to check with your astrology people i think you'd something about the phases of the moon i don't know enough about it but the, something about the phases of the moon i think thursday friday and saturday is not what you want to do it but after that you can anyway a simple prosperity spell uh you'll need one small bundle of sage one green candle one bowl a pinch of cinnamon no you're not going to eat this please do not eat this and you do it this particular one you do it during a new moon i think again you have to look it up and see what phase of the moon we're in i can't see that right now but you're going to do it on a new moon all right a spell that what why y'all making it so tiny how you fucking expect me to read this shit that's just wrong anyway 
Let's try to strain my eyes. Here I go. I spy with straining my eyes terribly, even with my glasses on. We can say a spell to help bring prosperity and inner peace to your life. Light the green candle and sprinkle sage around and on top of it. Ooh, that's going to make it smell good. Love the smell of sage. Love the taste of sage, too. But again, you're not eating this. This is a spell prosperity spell it's wiccan don't it's white witch parlor.com if you want to learn more anyway so hmm, i know i just offended a whole bunch of people that just fell off their fucking broomsticks what are we gonna do no i'm just joking the witches wouldn't have fell off their broomsticks but other people hearing it that are scared of witches or believe that they needed to be burned at the stake or something oh okay anyway stop we're not gonna go into the rant we're gonna finish this okay after you sprinkle the sage on top you hold hold in your mind's I can't see this. All right, we're gonna have to move the and move the microphone a little closer to the teleprompter. I look ridiculous. This is why we don't do this on camera. Absolutely. Okay, you hold your hold in your mind positive intentions of prosperity and inner peace. Once the flame grows, begin to sprinkle the cinnamon. Did we say cinnamon? No. What? Yeah, we did. We said cinnamon. Um, those ends are so close together anyway sprinkle the cinnamon on the flames saying what the hell that's not what you say please don't say what the hell oh but you could but it might take you some voice else i embrace prosperity and inner peace there you go as you're sprinkling the cinnamon on the flames you say i embrace prosperity and inner peace allow the flame and contents to burn down bury them to allow them to manifest into your reality. Alrighty then. Now let's just creep myself up because I don't want to sit that close to the damn teleprompter. They told you if you sat too close to the damn TV, it'll fuck up your eyes, right? <laughs> yeah, about that. Anyway, for more of spells, go to www.whitewitchpaller, P-A-L-P-A-R-L-O-U-R.com. Oh, thank you. And next coming up on the list is i tried to see things your way but i couldn't get my head that far up sorry about that oh did this not perfectly no i do not i have to i have to tell y'all i do not see the prompts before the show okay i refuse to read the prompts before the show because i don't want to think of them prior to but see didn't i say i couldn't get my head that far up your ass because you had your pen and your britches in a bunch that's right absolutely so I can't see it your way. <laughs> that just worked in perfectly fine. Oh, God, here we go. I know this one's going to be a rant because I did hear something about this. And I bet you, I bet you, I bet you. Let me have this pulled up so I can read it uh, properly. I bet you this is going to piss a whole bunch of you off, too. But that's OK. We'll go into that little rant. We'll just go. Oh, oh. <clears throat> I should get something to drink before this. OK, Grease. You know, the movie with John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John? Yes, if you haven't seen it, go out and get it before they make it illegal to watch or something. Grace is being slammed as racist, rapey, homophobic, and slut-shaming. Wow! Where the fuck did you people grow up? Okay, seriously? Every high school, every school in general has these cliques. Okay, and they all talk about each other. And it's never stopped, even back in the day that Greece was supposedly no let's face facts they made this in the 70s but it was probably set to a theme prior to that I did it the way they dress and you know the way they're acting at the time but are you kidding me wow you looked at Greece and you saw racist rapey I guess that fits in that fucking rape culture shit homophobic and slut shaming what world do you live in that you're prissy bitch ass ain't saying slut shaming the people you sons of bitches that sit in the first row in the goddamn church you hypocritical motherfuckers you act like you ain't had a life you pure ass bitch if you were so pure you would have waited to your goddamn freaking wedding to one person and one person only and you would have waited to your goddamn wedding night before you fucked somebody okay before your virginity left you are, are you kidding me <clears throat> I can honestly say, and I have no problem doing this, prior to me having sex, those people who had sex 
was thought of as being a slut. Why? Because that's what someone told me. Okay? Everything you know is because someone told you. Please don't ever forget this. You can reverse or relearn or eliminate. Click the delete button in your freaking mind. At some point in time, you do start erasing or deleting shit from your mind because someone told you and just because someone told you it was that doesn't mean it is all right it is i can honestly say and uh we do have some people that have actually made comments about this how can you see five people at one time well it's not like we're all on a date together at the same damn time well okay sometimes it is no 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 no, not everybody at once okay but what i do is my damn business if i want to see multiple guys i am not married i am not engaged and i do see multiple people if i choose to have intercourse sex or just downright filthy dirty good time with them it's my business that makes me a slut why is it when a girl sleeps with people she's a slut but when a guy sleeps with people he's a stud huh yeah let's go back to that one why don't you okay they'll be trying to stop the subtitles on films oh nope, sorry my gosh rebel pretty strong tonight yeah i know i'm sorry and i don't really mean to come on so strong but the stupidity i have no tolerance for stupid okay and it's just too stupid Seriously, Greece, Greece, the original Greece. I can only imagine what they say about Greece too. Racist, rapey, homophobic, and slut shaming. Wow, really? Didn't you enjoy the fucking movie? If you didn't enjoy the movie, stop watching it. Don't watch it. Why are you going to sit there and watch something that's you're going to think these things about? This is reality they're not showing you something you don't know already didn't do in school or whatever you know about this and i can promise you anybody that's got kids you know it's much worse now than it was back in oh when this time was set even when the movie was freaking made in the 70s are you kidding me oh my god okay it was set to a time of 1958 thank you very much for letting me know that i knew it was older than what it when they made it but seriously are you kidding me when you rented the movie or went i don't think it airs in movie theaters right now if you do it's lucky go see it in movie theaters but if you don't want to watch it turn it off sorry you're not getting your money back because you rented the movie you choose to watch it if you don't choose to watch it too bad okay why are you analyzing a movie it was a good movie it was a great musical movie all right i don't know i'm sure a hundred percent positive this motherfucker won awards how is it that you're gonna say these things about a movie that has been out forever don't shame people you're shaming people who made the movies this is crazy are you fucking kidding me it's like you can't make a movie about anything that was past you can't erase history it happened people lived through this let's see apparently 43 years ago yeah it was made a while ago and times have changed but that doesn't stop it from that is what happened back then okay why why would people even have a fit about this that's how people acted back then that doesn't mean we're gonna have to do it now okay although i have to say okay i'm sure it's still going on these days just in a different form because we haven't learned from history oh let's see let's see listen to last listen to this last one transgender want to stay into olympic games meaning that there is transgenders who were males before who will be going oh yes this is a good one who will be going into the women's category no that is not fair okay if you were born <clears throat> i do have to i do have to you are right it's not fair okay when you get your dick cut off and turned into a vagina that does not mean okay because they don't do it um they don't do it at young young ages they do it past the point where your hormones have grown in and your body is already adapted to what you were born with so males going into a female competition that puts all the females at a disadvantage now on the flip side if you were born a woman and you had you 
uh, had a surgery and you turned yourself into a man, you're putting your own self at a disadvantage. The difference is all all human beings have testosterone and um, estrogen in their body. It's the levels of those things that you have in your body that changes things and makes a difference. I am not a fucking doctor, okay? But I'm fairly certain it's easier for a woman to do man things if she crosses over to be a man. It's easier for her to adapt in fairness. Like a woman can play football. She might get a little bit hurt more often or she can play hockey or whatever those, you know, full contact sports are. But a man who transitioned to a woman, your body already has that testosterone. You're already made to be stronger than a woman. Oh my God, the women's lib organization is going to be beating down my door. Let's face facts, people. Most men are physically stronger than women. I know all the bodybuilders and everything. Stop. Okay, just stop. If you look back on creation, it's not fair. I don't give a fuck how you think creation people came about. Whatever. Men in history, throughout history, have been physically stronger than women. Now, there's alterations now that they can do, but it's not fair for once a man who turned himself into a woman to compete in a, in a game against women who were born women. I know. See, when you fight with the flip side, you're going to get the truth. Okay? It's not fair. It's not fair. I'm not saying that they can't, but let, that's another category that they're going to have to put into it. And then they're going to be pissed off because they're sectioned out because they're transgender. No, I'm sorry. Okay? If you want to compete in Olympics, then you have to compete on an even keel. Let's let all of them compete against themselves. I don't know. I... I I don't have a fix for this because I've never been put into the fix. But honestly, some beefed up hunk of what was a man, now a woman, is not going to be able to compete against women who were born women. That's not fair. Genetically, I don't find it fair. I'm sorry. I just don't see it. I can't I can't agree with them. I can't. I have no problem with you changing your body if that's what you want. But you got to play on the, le- the level playing field. And that, that is not a level playing field, in my opinion. Just saying, they want to watch the Wanderers. Don't fuck with the, ba- the Baldies. It is being narcissistic to guys with no hair. Oh, my God. Seriously? <laughs> oh! You can't win them all. You can't win for losing. I think we need to teach people a better way of doing things oh my god we ran out of time and we still have a ton of fucking shit to get to i know it's time sorry it is time we gotta let y'all go so <clears throat> all these years we've ended the show with chow babies for the most part well especially after this show um we want you to know and y'all obviously figured that out there's a lot of crap out there okay so we want to add a bit of wisdom for you to remember here goes Please grant yourself the serenity to deal with stupid people the way they are. The courage to maintain your self-control when dealing with stupid. And the wisdom to know that if you act on the emotions that result from dealing with stupid people, you can go to jail. Let it all!